this case P video example, we're looking at the common ion effect. Now this problem is very similar to the first KSP video. In that video, we wanted to calculate the molar solubility of lead 2 chloride in pure water. In this video, we're going to calculate the molar solubility of lead 2 chloride in a solution of 0.15 molar aluminum chloride. And so the difference is, when I built my KSP table on the first problem, because I had pure water, the initial concentrations of lead and chloride were zero. In this case, since my solution already contains chloride ions, the initial concentration of Cl- is not going to be zero. But other than that, the problem works exactly the same way. So the first thing I need to do is build my ice table. So I have lead 2 chloride dissociating into lead 2 ions and 2 chloride ions. So my initial lead is still zero, but now I need to figure out what my initial chloride ion concentration is. And so if we consider the aluminum chloride, that's a soluble salt, so it will completely dissociate in water. But when it does, it breaks up into one aluminum ion and three chloride ions. So if my concentration of aluminum chloride is 0 0.15 molar, the concentration of the chloride ions are going to be three times that. So my chloride ion concentration is going to be 0 0.45 molar. So that's what I'll put in the initial concentration of the chloride. All right, now the change will be the same. I'll have plus s and plus 2s. And so at equilibrium, uh, I have 0 plus s is s. And then I'll, for the chloride, I'll have 0 0.45 plus 2s. All right, so now to calculate my solubility, I need to... Uh, plug everything into the ice or into the uh, equilibrium constant expression. So I know that KSP is the concentration of lead times concentration of Cl minus squared. And I'll go ahead and plug in my equilibrium, equilibrium row of the ice table and my value for the equilibrium constant. Alright, and I'll finish solving this on the next slide. Okay, so I've lit, written the last row that we had on the previous slide. And initially this was like it might be kind of ugly, because I'll have to foil this out, uh, and I'll end up with a cube term and a square term, and that would just be ugly. But, just as we've done uh, for other equilibrium problems, we can apply the k is small approximation. So, uh, what that means is, S is going to be very small, and so I can ignore it in the plus 2S in the 0 0.45 plus 2S part of the term here. So with the K is small approximation, my problem simplifies greatly. And so when I square that, And I'll divide both sides by 0 0.203. And so S comes out to be 5.78 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per liter. All right, so we're almost done, but I just wanted to compare our result with the previous example when we dissolved the lead 2 chloride in pure water. All right, and in that previous problem, using pure water, we found the solubility of lead 2 chloride to be 0 0.0143. And so we can see, due to the common ion effect, the solubility in this problem, when the solution already contained a bunch of chloride ions, I can dissolve much less lead in that solution.